beauties, the sun was shining today, so I felt inspired to start some summer hair tutorials. Um, we're going to start off with this really loose, easy beach wave uh, hairstyle. Um, all you'll need is a one and a half to two inch uh, curling iron. I wouldn't do anything smaller than this. Um, and we're going to need a hair clip, hairspray. And if you prefer to keep your hair on the cleaner side, I would just use the hairspray. If not, we're going to go in with a texture spray as well. All right, so I'm going to get started. Um, you'll notice I have a friend uh, visiting on my forehead when I do my hair, but I don't like to do my hair with makeup on because sometimes the hot tools will make your makeup melt, so we avoid that. So makeup after. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start by sectioning our hair. I'm just going to take um, the thicker part of my head and section that. Ignore my lovely friend on my forehead. So we're going to start at the bottom of that section. Okay, taking your curling iron, you're going to take about two inch wide sections. Um, with longer hair, you can take bigger if you'd like. It'll just make the curl even looser. Okay, you're starting your curl like you normally would. But see how I am pulling down the curling iron and kind of letting that curl drop out. Without uh, letting it cool down, I'm going to pull on it before it cools down. That's going to really make the curl even looser. So you're going to repeat that through your first section all the way. Putting it in and pulling down on the curl. You're also leaving about an inch to two inches out of the curling iron. Uh, that will make your curl appear even looser. Once we get to the back, we're going to pull that hair more forward. That's going to make it even less of a curl in the back. We're not really worried to make the back of the hair too curly. Uh, we want it really, really loose, very beachy as possible. And if you create too much volume underneath by really making those shorter hairs curly, uh, it won't really work. The look will be completely different. Once that section is done, we're going to take that top section down and repeat the same process. Um, if you have thicker hair, you can take more sections, but honestly with this look, you want to take as big as sections as possible because that will keep the waves nice and loose. Okay, once that section's done, you're going to brush it out with your fingers. Um, with other hairstyles, we usually would leave the hair in the curled position until we're completely done because that'll help set it. But with this look, we want to brush it out right away because, again, we don't want it to be too curly. I am going to do that last section all together just because I don't have that thick of hair. So I don't want to make it too curly, so I'm just going to do that section in one. Okay, we're just going to repeat the same process. Okay, once we are finished curling the head, I'm taking my Unite Tricky Spray. Uh, it's a texturizing spray. It's basically a mixture of wax, hairspray, and shine spray in one. I'm going to spray that throughout my hair to get a nice PC look. I, 
also going to scrunch it up with my fingers as I'm spraying it in. And we're going to repeat the same thing with our hairspray as well. You can also use a salt spray as well with this look if you want to give it more texture. I have thin hair so I don't like to use salt sprays. It really dries out my bleached hair. But that is the look. So basically the messier the better, the looser the better, and you have your summer beach hair ready for the season. it I uh, hope this weather keeps it up so I get inspired even more to come up with some awesome fun hairstyles for the summertime obviously some braids will be in there waves beachy hair that sort of thing of course if you have any hairstyles you want me to do so you can learn how to do them let me know on my Instagram account or in the comments below and I will do them right away okay thanks guys bye